Dear students, myself Lokesh Jian, Assistant Professor of Physics. In this session, we shall discuss about the construction and working of a CRO for BSc Physics third semester of Mysore University. Before going to understand the construction and working of a CRO, it is very much essential that we should know about the path placed by a charged particle in an electric field. I hope you have studied and understood in your previous semester about this. The cathode ray oscilloscope, which is commonly abbreviated as CRO, is one of the most flexible, versatile electronic instruments, which is capable of giving a visual indication of input signal waveform and is used for display, measurement, analysis of waveforms and various quantities in electrical and electronic circuits. It is a widely used electronic instrument. With the help of a CRO, we check the electric circuit and electronic circuit with some parameters like voltage, current, etc. We also study the waveform of these parameters. The cathode oscilloscope is an electronic instrument which is used to obtain waveforms when the different input signals are given. The oscilloscope observes the changes in the electrical signals over time. Thus the voltage and time describe a shape and it is continuously graphed beside a scale. This is the picture of a CRO where you can see the display and this is the speciality of the CRO. This measures the input signal as well as it visualizes the waveform of the input signal. To understand the construction and working of a CRO, we shall discuss by this schematic diagram. CRO is made up of different blocks. The essential parts of a CRO are as follows. The vertical amplifier, delay line, trigger circuit, time-based generator, horizontal amplifier, power supply, and lastly the cathode ray tube which is very much important. Now let us discuss about the vertical amplifier. In the diagram, you can see the vertical amplifier. The input signal will be first applied to the vertical amplifier. So the input signal is a weak signal. It has to be amplified and then further subjected for the process in the CRO. The vertical amplifier amplifies the input signal which is to be displayed on the screen of the CRT. Next, we shall have a delay line. We know that the input signal is applied to the vertical as well as the horizontal reflection phase. But before reaching the horizontal plate, the signal passes through different blocks, which causes distortion in the screen. Therefore, delay line provides some amount of delay to the signal, which is obtained at the output of the vertical amplifier. This delayed signal is then applied to the vertical reflection plates of CRT. Next, we have a trigger circuit. The trigger circuit produces a triggering signal or triggering pulse in order to synchronize both horizontal and vertical deflections of electron P. Next, uh, we have a time-based generator. The time-based generator produces a sawtooth signal which is useful for horizontal deflection of electron beam. Hence, x-axis of the CRO can be calibrated in terms of time and input can be displayed with respect to time on the screen of the CRO. Next, uh, we have horizontal amplifier. 
it amplifies the sawtooth signal and then collects it to the horizontal deflection plates of the CRT. Another important part of the CRO is the power supply. Every instrument needs a power supply to work. The power supply provides the voltage required by the CRT to generate and accelerate the electron beam. It also provides the voltage for various stages. The negative as well as the positive voltages are provided by the inputs uh, power supply. There will be a negative high voltage as well as a positive low voltage applied to the CRT and other circuits. Next is about the cathode ray tube. It is a major important block of CRO. It is also known as the heart of the CRO. It mainly consists of four parts. So these are electron gun, vertical deflection plates, horizontal deflection plates, and fluorescent screen. We shall discuss in detail about the parts of the CRT. Now we shall discuss about the electron gun assembly. So here, the cathode ray tube produces plenty of electrons. These electrons are accelerated to high velocity. And when this beam of electron strikes the fluorescent screen, a luminous spot is produced on the screen. The electron beam is deflected on its path according to the changes in the instantaneous values of rapidly changing applied input electrical signal under study. The result is that electrical signal waveform is displayed visually. So therefore we shall discuss about the electron gun assembly. The functions of the electron gun assembly will be like this. The arrangement of electrodes which produces a focused beam of electrons is called the electron gun. It consists of an indirectly heated cathode, a control grid held at negative potential with respect to cathode. A focusing anode and accelerating anode maintained at high positive potentials with respect to cathode. The control grid encloses the cathode and consists of a metal cylinder with a tiny circular opening to keep the electron beam small in size. The focusing anode focuses the electron beam into a sharp pinpoint due to high positive potential on the accelerating anode. The electron beam accelerated to a high velocity. We shall have a deflection plate assembly. It consists of two sets of deflection plates, namely vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates. By applying proper potential to these plates, deflection of the beam is accomplished. And finally, we have a fluorescent screen. The screen is coated with some fluorescent material. A luminous spot of the light is produced when the electron beam strikes on it. The color of the spot depends upon the nature of the fluorescent material used. The action of a CRT can be explained as follows. The electron beam leaving the heated cathode passes through control grid on their way to screen. The intensity of light spot on the screen can be changed by changing the negative potential on the control grid. As electron beam leaves the accelerating anode, it comes under the influence of vertical and horizontal deflection plates. If no voltage is applied, the electron beam will produce spot of light at the center of the screen. The spot of light will be deflected if the voltage is applied. So, Hence, uh, this is the construction and working of a CRO. In the next session, we shall discuss about the measurement of voltage and frequency using CRO. Thank you.